Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Shapiro. I'm a plastic surgeon certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery, and I've been practicing in the Scottsdale Prairie Valley area since 1992, and that's all I do. I just perform cosmetic or aesthetic plastic surgery. I, you know, w when we do perform uh, cosmetic surgery and I see consultations, uh, a common question I have is, you know, Dr. Shapiro, I'm having this procedure done. Do I have to have a primary primary doctor or primary pr uh, physician to have this procedure done? And it really just depends upon what the what the procedure is. In, in procedures that are performed in younger people uh, with little medical risk, and it's not a very long procedure, I say generally no. If people have no history of cardiac disease or lung disease, are young and healthy, or you know up to 50 or so and healthy, uh, and even beyond 50, oftentimes I can just do some blood work uh, and, and do an EKG or do some kind of preoperative clearance for you, and that is fine. In patients that have um, more complicated medical histories uh, in, in terms of having some heart disease, lung disease, or really any medical issues at all, uh, whether it be diabetes or, or previous cancer, if you will, uh, I just understand that I think the most important thing is to be safe here. And it's very uh, important that if there's a doctor that knows you, uh, I think that he, needs their, he or she needs to give their blessing prior to any elective uh, cosmetic surgery. And that means that probably you need to go see your, uh, your primary physician. Oftentimes I will communicate with that primary physician and tell them what it is that I plan on doing. Uh, we will uh, uh, coordinate any screening, any, any screening tests. Uh, if in fact there's a history of heart disease, oftentimes they'll do a stress test, compare your new AKG to an old AKG, and that, that is so important to do before procedures. If in fact there's a medical history, uh, I, I really want people to uh, uh, see their primary physician and I need to get that medical clearance and I can't perform the surgery without that. So the best way to figure out whether or not I can do a procedure, in a young patient I may just send them for a little bit of blood work and maybe a mammogram. Uh, in people that are over 50 I may send them for an EKG just as a screening device to make sure everything's okay because the anesthesiologists require that. I think it's very important that we're trying to perform this elective cosmetic surgery in the safest way possible for you. Uh, again, oftentimes I don't need a primary physician, but if in fact there's a medical history and you're followed for specific medical problems, I will need to communicate with that medical doctor uh, and make sure that you're cleared uh, and, and have their blessings so we go through a very, very safe surgery and I can exceed your expectations in a very predictable way. Uh, best way to find out what to do before cosmetic surgery in terms of any clearance, come in, I'll have you talk to me or my nurses and we'll go from there. Thank you very much.